My name is Martin Lewis. My job, to try and help millions of people be savvier with their money. Pay two quid, get a year's two-for-one movies. But for some people, it's more. If I had to give you my aim in a nutshell, it would be cutting your bills and fighting financial injustice. So, how did I get this role? Well, I made it up. And today, I'm going to share some of my life lessons with high flyers of the future at my old university, the London School of Economics. I think I was always destined to come to LSE. My uncle Tony had been here and spoke very highly about it. And he was the person I always used to play mass games with as a kid. I loved numbers. I loved mass games. I always think by numbers. So I think coming here was sort of, it fit. But it wasn't just about having fun. It was here I discovered I had an inbuilt responsibility chip. So I ran for the position of general secretary, akin to president of the students' union. My friend Justin Deville helped run my, thankfully successful, election campaign. You never told me at the time, did you think I'd win? Uh, I, honestly, <laughs> I, wasn't ent I wasn't entirely confident, but I think what surprised me on the day of the vote was just the number of people that you'd made connections with and, and that came out and voted for you. I had come to London, big bright eyes, and this was amazing, and meeting all these people, because this, this place is 60% overseas students from all over the world, I was fascinated with that. And while I love the work and public speaking, my time in charge of the union taught me that adversarial party politics wasn't for me. So my first job was in financial PR in the city, but it didn't give me the buzz I wanted. So to try and find that, I spent my nights doing stand-up at clubs like these. My act may have got just a little bit silly at times. <laughs> a major life lesson for me was if you're not happy with your work, don't be afraid to change. So at 25, I quit and went to Cardiff University to study broadcast journalism. After a few years, I found a job that played to my strengths on a TV channel talking about money matters. Hey, fancy a little cash. I used a dab of comedy to help get my message across, but the mainstay was hardcore. It was here I honed my money-saving methodology. Companies spend billions on advertising to that. In 2003, I took my passion to the web with a site aimed to provide answers where they hadn't existed before. MoneySavingExpert.com was born, and campaigning has been a big part of it. Face the power. Is this a day to celebrate for the consumer? It is a day to cheer, to whoop and to jump up and down for joy. I have spent a good bit of time hanging outside the courts. Bank charges was the first one, PPI was the next, and it's about showing people how to get their rights, and some of that is about doing it for them. Can I have my money back, money? The site has been mind-blowingly successful, with 15 million users a month. I sold it in 2012, making me money and enabling me to set up a large charity fund. But I'm still there day to day as executive chairman, guaranteeing it still puts consumers first. And today, I'm back at the LSE to share what I've learnt with the burgeoning talents there. What is needed to be successful? Four things. Number one, talent. Number two, hard work. Number three, focus, zone. The narrower the field and the better you are at it, the more your chance. Number four, luck. Some of you will do all of that and you will fail. Others will do all of that and you will succeed. And the only difference is one of luck. And I was swamped with questions from curious students. Did you have a save the world mentality or making money mentality when you started? I've never had a making money mentality and I still don't. I get to choose what I get out of bed in the morning. And the next time I see something where there's a problem that nobody else is dealing with it, like money and mental health, which is one of my big ones, I can go, right, I'm going to fix that or try. And that's a job. That, that is, that's happiness. If you have the money, remember you're the fortunate one. Give back. I give it back because it made me and I owe it.